Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Flater Mouse. Welcome back to another test tube torture test. In this video, we'll superheat some John Barbatos uh, cologne for men. It's uh, a manly scent with uh, notes of he-manism. Now this is some old stuff. As you know, cologne and perfume does not age very well. It gets a kind of a, um, kind of a sweet, nasty smell to it after several years. This is probably five years old, so it, it had that funky smell. Now if we look closely, we can see that there's little micro flashes of steam where the torch is directly heating it. I had to turn the torch down to almost idle speed, if that's a thing or not. <laughs> but uh, it's a real light flame, and we'll see how this uh, men's cologne handles being superheated. The glass vial is sealed at the top with JB Weld Steel Stick. Uh, I wish there were a sponsor because this stuff performs very well. It sticks really well to glass and so far we've had a very positive seal using this type of uh, arrangement. Now one thing I've never tested was how much pressure these glass vials can actually contain before they burst. So I've ordered a 3000 psi pressure gauge and I'll I'll figure out a way to install that on the vial, probably using JB Weld, and uh, we'll get an idea of what the bursting point of these vials are. I've always had the assumption it's around a thousand psi. It could be more or less than that. The glass is pretty thin. It is borosilicate glass. Um, it is quite strong and, and handles heat very well. But hopefully the pressure gauge will be here this week, and you know it doesn't matter if we're superheating water-based materials or oil-based or alcohol base the burst point is going to be about the same on every vial Phew. The total time it was under heat was about 1 minute and 40 seconds. The average time is usually around 5 minutes. In this test we had a true pressure burst as opposed to a hydrostatic burst where the liquid completely fills the vial and bursts it just from the expanding fluid. And we were able to see that happen on the latest brake fluid test. In this test the expanding vapors instantly snuffed out the flame of the torch we didn't get a flame, but we just got a large cloud of nasty expired cologne, which probably was smelled throughout the county. The foam head was riddled with glass, and this gives you an idea how dangerous these tests are. I advise you not to try it at home or replicate these in any way unless you really know what you're doing. But I'm just a guy on the internet, and what do I know? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this test tube torture test featuring men's cologne. Thanks for watching. Phew! <laughs>